Ladies and gentlemen, Alvin Bragg's DA office received a powdery letter that was addressed to him with a death threat. And he's received several death threats from Trump supporters since this trial began. And, you know, Trump has been all over the internet talking about death and destruction if he's indicted and all that stuff. So I have a video I want you to listen to. This is from MSNBC, and then I'll be back with the rest of my commentary. The Manhattan DA's office, just minutes ago, law enforcement sources tell WNBC that DA Alvin Bragg has now received a death threat. A note inside a letter addressed to him said, quote, Alvin, I'm going to kill you. It also contained a small amount of white powder. The substance was deemed non-hazardous, and there were no evacuations or injuries. Law enforcement sources also say the NYPD and now the FBI are both on scene investigating. We're going to go there as soon as we can. The threat comes after Donald Trump has been escalating his aggressive rhetoric against DA Alvin Bragg. Overnight, he posted a warning of potential death and destruction, his words, if he is charged. Critics were already worrying Donald Trump was getting dangerously close to inciting another riot. This will add to that concern. Ladies and gentlemen, look like the trial for Trump in New York is going pretty slowly. So they came together again today, but they're not going to resume until one day next week. So in the meantime, Alvin Bragg has been getting death threats and he received a letter with a white powdery substance. So the FBI and NYPD are now investigating a letter containing a death threat and white powder that was mailed to Manhattan District Attorney's Office Alvin Bragg whose office is investigating former President Donald Trump, law enforcement sources told NBC News. The letter was addressed to Bragg and said, Alvin, I am going to kill you, the sources said. It contained a small amount of white powder. There were no evacuations or injuries, officials said. It was the latest in what a senior law enforcement source described as several hundred threats aimed at Bragg and his office in recent weeks. A couple of dozens of messages were considered to be directly threatening and serious to harm Bragg, the sources said. Bragg sent the email to his office acknowledging the difficult week. I know it hasn't been easy, he wrote in an email with all of the press attention and security around our office, and he thanked everyone for their strength and professionalism during this time. We will continue to apply the law evenly and fairly, he wrote. In a statement, the DA's office said the letter was immediately contained and that the NYPD Emergency Service Unit and the um, New York City Department of Environmental Protection determined there was no dangerous substance. Markings on the envelope indicated that it was mailed from Orlando, Florida earlier this week, sources said. It was postmarked on Tuesday, the sources said. The letter comes in wake of Trump announcing falsely that he would be arrested in the probe this past Tuesday and that people should protest. His rhetoric has become more heated in the days since. Yes, um, Donald Trump posted a picture of him standing behind Alvin Bragg holding a baseball bat aimed towards his head. And Trump's attorney removed that picture from the internet. So, you know, he's been doing some real off-color kind of things, but 
So they're saying that um, the letter comes in wake of Trump falsely. You know, remember when he said, oh, he was going to get arrested. That's now what? Two weeks ago, he was going to get arrested and he never did. And his rhetoric has become more heated in the days since including warnings on his social media website earlier Friday of a potential death and destruction if the DA indicts him. The indictment in the case could come down as soon as next week, as there are indications that the investigation is in its final stages. NBC News reported last week that law enforcement officials had already begun preparing security precautions in the event of a possible indictment in discussions to include the NYPD, New York State court officers, and U.S. Secret Service, the FBI, Joint Terrorism Task Force, and the DA's office. Well, y'all, we shall see. We shall see how this will all turn out at the end of the day. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.